It was Bella who brought me to Thai House, you know, to help with Henry. He was in that wheelchair and she just couldn't cope. I did everything for him and he was so grateful. And then I began to realise that if Bella wasn't there, if it was just the two of us, him and me, So you decided to kill her? Yes. I I'd learned how to handle a gun when I was quite young. It's something one does in the country. And then that day I said I was going to join them. On the shoot. I didn't really have a plan. It was all very confused. People shooting all over the place. I took a hip flask filled with vodka and I kept on drinking. It was the only way that I could get the courage. All the dead birds. The noise, the blood made me feel sick and dizzy. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. And Bella was always so close to me. Or else there was someone between her and me. And then she walked away. She was talking to one of the beaters. And I knew I had my chance. So quickly, I... No one saw me. I doubled back behind the trees and managed to hide. Then I waited until I had a clear shot. And then... I shot her. It was terrible. I saw her pitch forward and fall to the ground. And then I just panicked. I got up and I ran and I ran. So you went back to Thai House? I went to my room and locked myself in. I was shaking. And then, a short while later, I heard Michael Lacey come to the house. And I went downstairs. Bella's been shot. We have to call an ambulance. I thought then that I'd done it. That I'd got away with it. But I know I'd have been seen. Mrs. Rainbird. She put it all in those notebooks, did she? Oh, yes. PC, £5,000. PC, £5,000. PC, £2,000. When did it start? A week after the funeral. They suddenly invited me. I had to go to that revolting house. Poor Bella. <laughs> oh, I expect you'll be needed more than ever at Thai House now, my dear. Quite the Chatelaine you'll be, won't you? Ah, <laughs> oh, here's Denny with the tea. <laughs> now, what will you have? <laughs> 